In this video, we are going to discuss the pseudocode of generalized Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. We shall discuss this particular pseudocode into further details. Generalized Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. We are writing this algorithm in the term in the form of pseudocode. Later, you can implement this algorithm in C, C++ or Java or any other high level language. So input for this algorithm will be the line endpoints that is X, S, Y, S that is the starting endpoint and X, E, Y, E that is the ending endpoint and here which are assumed to be not equal and all the variables are assumed to be integer. So here we are having the starting point coordinate and the ending point coordinate. So two points are the given and we are supposed to draw a line in between. The sign function returns value minus one if the number is negative zero if the number is zero and one if the number is positive. So that's why there is a purpose of the sign function which returns either minus one or zero or one. Actually the sign of k can be calculated in this way k by mod of k or absolute of k. Absolute of k means it will only return the magnitude ignoring the sign that is known as the absolute of k. So initially you are putting x is equal to x s and y is equal to y s that is the starting coordinates have been are going to initialize x and y. Delta x is equal to x e minus x s mod of that that is the absolute of that we are not considering the uh, sign we are considering the difference only and delta y is equal to y e minus y s. So here also we are considering the magnitude part ignoring the sign part. So now to get this sign you know that the sign function is there which will return minus 1, 0 or 1 depending upon the input argument whether it is negative or 0 or positive. So x e minus x s s1 will get that value the sign of that and y e minus y s the respective sign value will be assigned to s2. So s1 and s2 can have values ranging from minus 1, 0 or 1 here. So now if delta y is greater than delta x, so you know that in case of delta y greater than delta x, but in our Bresenham algorithm, we consider that m is less than one. You can see the previous video, that means delta x was greater than delta y. So that's why what we are doing in this case is that we are swapping this delta x and delta y. So exchange delta x and delta y functions, that is the values. So swap is a function with the help of which we are doing this one. So if the respective function is not available in the corresponding high level language, you can, you know that you are supposed to write three statements. That is the simplest way to do the swapping between two variables. That is temp is equal to delta x, delta x is equal to delta y and delta y is equal to temp. In that way also you can do that one. Otherwise swap delta x comma delta y. Next we are having swap, that is one variable we are defining sw is equal to one. So indicate that uh, swapping took place. Else sw is equal to 0. So sw is equal to 1 means delta y is greater than delta x so we did the swapping and sw is equal to 0 means we didn't do the swapping that is delta x is greater than delta y. We are having this n is equal to 1 that is the first point we are going to plot so n is equal to 1. So p is equal to 2 delta y minus delta x initial value for the decision parameter p0. So this particular how to get this decision parameter value calculated just watch the previous video where we did the detailed calculation to get this value of this decision parameter pk. So here p is equal to your 2 delta y minus delta x set pixel x y. So the starting coordinate uh, will have the uh, their x s and y s you can easily find that x and y they are initialized with initialized with this x s and y s. So there the point will be plotted while n is less than equal to a less than equal to delta x. We know that delta x is the is the respective uh, difference between your uh, delta x e minus x uh, s in that case if the swapping hasn't taken place otherwise it is nothing but uh, y e minus y s in that case if the swapping we have done. So that means that is the range for which we are going to plot all the points. So that's why n should be less than equal to delta x that means the points are to be plotted. If p is greater than equal to 0 then we are going for x is equal to x plus s1 and y is equal to y plus s2. s1 s2 we did the calculation that is a sign here so it is either having the value plus 1 or 0 or minus 1 so accordingly the x and y new value will be calculated. 
So now for the uh, when p will be greater than 0, we are doing this x, x is equal to x plus s1 and y is equal to y plus s2. So s1 and s2, the, these two variables can have the value plus 1, 0 or minus 1 and p is equal to p plus 2 into delta y minus delta x. So in this way, we are, do, do, we are calculating the next decision parameter value. So that is a p. But if p is not greater than 0, in that case, we are going to check whether we did the swapping earlier or not. If we did the swapping earlier, that means, you know, that whenever, when you, when you did the swapping earlier, when the delta y is greater than delta x, then we did the swapping. So what will happen if the if swap is equal to 1, then y will be increased, that is y is equal to y plus s2, increase or decrease, whatever the value of s2 that, that will decide, else x is equal to x plus s1. So in this way, if we did the swapping earlier, then y will be is equal to y plus s2, else x is equal to x plus s1. And now here in this case, we are going to calculate the new value for p, that is p is equal to p plus 2 delta y. So here you will be calculating p in this way, otherwise you will be doing calculation in this way. This end if is actually the end of this respective if, this if had the end, end if here. So this if block got terminated here, so that is one block you can find and that is another block you are getting here. This is another block you are getting here. And this is a while here, so that's why this while block is getting terminated. So in this way, I've drawn these lines to indicate that which block is ending at which statement. So this is our, this is the algorithm that is known as generalized Bresenham line drawing algorithm. The pseudocode I have given. So you can pause the video, you can take the note from here. And also you'll be solving some problems on this algorithm. And this is the respective algorithm we are having. So I think now the conception is clear. In the previous video, we we, we have shown you that how to calculate this decision parameter value and then how to implement this one in the pseudocode. We have explained that one in this video. Thanks for watching this.